Staying in Decatur, one local organization is looking ahead and planning for a brand new state of the art facility that will serve kids and teens in the community. Now, Decatur Youth Services provides dozens of programs that help keep at risk kids and teens out of trouble. Now officials say the new building will help them expand to even more people in the community. 48's Claudia Peppenhorst joins us now live and Claudia City Councilman Kyle Pike and Pro Tem Mayor Carlton McMasters uh, discussed their new facility in their state of the city last week and explained how it will be an asset. Yeah, well, the project has been in the works for years. City leaders and Decatur Youth Services director says they're almost ready to get the dirt churning on this new facility. Now, the city has already purchased six acres of land for this new building, which will house all 36 of Decatur Youth Services programs and then some. In the new building, there will be a gymnasium, an auditorium, a STEM lab, a music studio, a football field, a boxing facility, classrooms, and so much more. But DYS director Brandon Watkins says they still have to complete a few more steps before construction can begin. Watkins says they're currently waiting on city council to decide how much they're going to spend on the project. Once they have their price point, construction can begin, hopefully by this summer. Watkins says they su the support they've already seen from the city leaders is encouraging and will ultimately help them expand their reach to at-risk kids and teens in Decatur. So for the, them to say that, to be uh, uh, something main about this, and they're going to have at-risk kids or at-risk family, and give them a facility, not just a rundown facility, a facility that's nice, that when they come in, they feel home. Oh, it's very exciting. We have the room we need to house these kids daily. A Watkins says once construction begins, it will take about a year and a half to complete. Reporting live, Claudia Peppenhorst, 48 on your side.